Sunday. In the previous videos, I've tried to get over that 100,000 points in Donkey Kong, and it's really been uh, quite a, an effort thus far. Uh, I've had several years worth of playing, obviously not every day, but uh, when I play games, I should always play Donkey Kong. And that 100,000 points just seems to always elude me. So let's give it another try. But uh, stay around to the end of the video just to make sure if I made it or not. Let's see. It's Arcade Sunday. Okay, so we start off the level one uh, relatively normally. It's basic pattern, just not really trying to do anything spectacular, just really trying to get to the top of the board without uh, making any silly mistakes. Um, just that was a bit risky. However, that risk uh, is mitigated later on in uh, the way I play ongoing here. Trying to just gain some points. I usually always do this exact pattern uh, when possible. Run straight into the far right corner and wait there until the hammer runs out. And then you've got a good uh, visibility on uh, those. Very risky. There was something on the screen there. I just uh, wiped it off. Okay, again, the normal pattern occurs, uh, start up from the left, take that one out, climb up, uh, leave that rivet in place, climb up to the top, and basically just continue uh, through the board in a half circular style. This, uh, again, if you haven't uh, seen much about Donkey Kong, you'll know this is quite a common pattern to use to get past the stage relatively reliably every time. Even on later stages, it was also super risky. It wasn't intended. I'm trying to get out of there. I'm actually very, very stuck in the corner there. Luckily, I managed to escape all of those little flames. It was very risky and uh, really not normal gameplay. Um, for some reason, they all just seemed to want to gang up on me. It took a lot of risks to get out of the second stage of the game. I can't believe it. But anyway, ended up being fine. There we go. We finished. Let's see how high we can get. It always makes me laugh that uh, saying in between the stages. Again, uh, pretty much um, textbook um, barrel stage completion here. Again, took, took a bit of a risk there with that barrel that could have possibly come down the ladder, but um, it worked out there again. There's just a little bit of luck involved in this particular run of the game, uh, but. With anything, especially Donkey Kong, uh, a bit of luck now and again is most welcome. So off into the far right corner and wait over there. So you have to just look for the gap in the barrels and then just make your way up to the top stage and out of there. Something happened there, uh, the, the phone actually stopped recording for some reason, I'm not sure what happened, but all I did was um, I just pressed record again. I may have missed one stage there, I'm, I can't quite remember exactly what happened, but this is the same game that I was playing, so it's a continuation of the same game, it's not a new recording, just uh, take my word for it. It's uh, There was some phone error, I've got problems with my current uh, phone. Uh, and that just doesn't really have enough uh, storage space available and it's just getting old. Basically, I just need to get a, a new camera or a new phone for these longer videos especially. Um, it, it often becomes a problem. Anyway, I'm just talking nonsense right now. Uh, these uh, flames certainly seem to be coming up and doing uh, exactly what they're supposed to do. That was a textbook uh, stage clear of rivet stage, as they call it. And I play a little song on the buttons there. I usually do that toward 
later stages uh, as a sort of a mini celebration of getting past the stage without dying. Anyway, as you can see, that actually little monitor glitch there. You see it now and again. It's like my whole screen of the, of the game. You see there's that little glitches there. Um, that is most likely some dry cap somewhere. And I just need to one day get to it and just, ooh, wild barrel. And like a boss, hit it. Uh, anyway, with the monitor problem, I just need to really just one day decide to take this machine apart and just recap the board again. <laughs> second, this would have been the second or the third time I've probably done that. Okay, right to the top of the stage. Uh, there goes the princess once again. Okay, so, so I stay left until three flames jump out, and then I go up. Now this is a trick I actually saw online, because this was another stage, it's very, very difficult. Anyway, e even if you follow a pattern or you don't follow a pattern, this is still a very, very difficult stage. It can catch you out sometimes, and sometimes you, like this, you breeze straight through it with 58 or 5900 bonus points. It's just like luck of the draw sometimes, it's just, there's no rhyme or rhythm. Okay, again, this being the first, um, springboard as they call it stage um, I just hung back slightly uh, slowing it down just to uh, really pick up that 800 point bonus on the on the left as I did there and also just to feel out the timing of these things I think I stood on it yeah I stood there that's three or go to point three as they call it or I call it and you're looking for a good space to run across and I just went through it quickly but um, you can't do that move on the third round of the springboards, well not in this US version anyway. I believe the, I think it's, the, I'm not sure if it's a Japanese version, but one of the versions it's the second round of uh, the springboard level that is suddenly more difficult. Uh, basically they just add more springs. So the speed is the same, it's just more springs jumping. So your, your timing, in other words, has to be like 100% perfect. It's very, very difficult to achieve the timing. And then, ooh, that was super close. Nonetheless, uh, it seemed to have worked out. Yeah, I went a bit... So these guys didn't really follow their pattern properly this time, but again, it's Donkey Kong uh, slightly unpredictable at times. You've got to kind of work out uh, you know, your way around every random opportunity. This is what I think makes this a great game. It's just so difficult to actually get good at it because it's, it's got some patterns, but it's got some... Uh, I did some point pressing here. Yeah. <laughs> again, this is for demonstration purposes. I don't normally do that at all. But uh, this is this time I just wanted to do do some point pressing. Oh, on his head. <laughs> okay, how high can you get? So this is barrel board, uh, standard run ahead, go for it, uh, normal pattern. Uh, no attempts at any kind of point pressing or anything. I just want to just get to the top and just get out of here. It's just uh, important to get as far as possible. Well, for me anyway, my my um, strategy to toward my hundred thousand possibly high score is uh, basically stick to the same routines as far as possible. And then once you get past the third springboard stage, I think then it will be easier in, in my mind anyway in theory to uh, get over 100,000 see the screen is really glitching out pretty badly but then it goes back to normal after a short while so not really too concerned that's probably why I haven't fixed it because it just doesn't annoy me enough yet to warrant the long repair there's one two three four five flames jump out and then I stay on the left hand side and then as they all come out then I start going up oh anyway, as I was saying earlier, there's a video that I saw on the internet as you would on YouTube about whoa about uh, how to finish the stage without too much trouble and it's it did help me a bit although it wasn't 100% accurate because again this stage doesn't always go as per clockwork like you you'd want it like yeah I really I really lucked out here 
I mean, any one of those flames could have come up or down that ladder and I would have been completely stuck. And anyway, so luckily I made it through. Okay, let's just get through this board. You actually start finding uh, on these, um, when you think everything's going to plan, you suddenly get like, well, either like that, the flame comes up from the bottom, which you normally doesn't. So it's quite a worry. And now you're actually kind of stuck at the bottom there because you can't move upwards, obviously, with a hammer. So these barrels start coming down fast and it actually becomes very, very difficult to get out of the situation. I was just in there and there again, very lucky to avoid. And there's a wild barrel just to, you know, add a bit of fun. And I was skillfully avoided. I was just trying to get out of here, but it's, yeah, this game is, it's getting, oh, that was super, super lucky there. And after all of that amazing play, I get stuck there. Yeah, terrible. Yeah, let's just try again. Again, just uh, lucky that barrel didn't come down the ladder. I would have been dead. And there's a wild barrel just randomly. Oh, wait. That was very good. If I don't say so myself. Okay, so just push on through to the top right corner. Go to the normal plan, and we should be fine. So, also, another thing about. Um, Donkey Kong is once you get that hammer, you've got no way of knowing how long it's going to last. It just you just got to like know it's by just by feel. Um, it's uh, hard to explain. So I'm just going to basically just try and go for it again. This is the second springboard stage. Pretty easy to to clear. Oh no! Wait, this is the third one. Okay. So as you can see, lots of springs run underneath, stop there, and then wait for it, wait for it, there, okay, so bad timing, let's try again, so I think this time I actually go for that 800 there, yeah, just for some extra points, because I'm getting pretty... I wouldn't say close to 100,000 here, but it's on, on its way to 100,000. But um, at least I've got still two more lives here. I'm going to walk to the third little part of that girder, wait till that far spring goes late, and then I just went for it. And amazingly, I got through. Even watching this video myself, I, <laughs> Oh, it feels like a scary achievement to have done that, which it really was, but so hard to, to do again, or to recreate. And to get to that stage, it takes quite a bit of playing. I mean, it's at least 10 to 12 minutes of gameplay just to give that part one try. It's, it's quite something. So at the moment, um, basically just clocking up as many points as possible. I think this is just now I've been I've made it past that third impossible springboard stage. So now it's just a matter of getting to the hundred thousand. I need like ten thousand more points. And at the rate I'm going and the way this game felt to play, uh, I felt pretty much in control the entire time. Um, amazingly so. So I've got no doubt that. Um, 100,000 is within my sights at this point. Let's finish the stage and get out of here. So it should be plus 27, so I should be like even closer. As you can see, my top score there was 96,300. It was my last um, hardcore attempt at 100,000 points. So now I've got 94,100 and the uh, standard barrel board uh, in theory always should theoretically be straightforward but uh, not always the case as you know so i think that luckily it worked out pretty well here and looking at the scoreboard and looking at <laughs> trying to go for that wild barrel again 
looking at the scoreboard and looking at my bonus point potential, I think I'm going to be over 100,000 sooner than I know it. Top right corner, avoid miss, run up, jump and get out of here and... Phone's dying. Yes, I did it. Over 100,000. My phone's about to die, unfortunately, so unfortunately we won't get the end of this game, but I've done it. 100,000. Nice. Thanks for watching. Uh, that was uh, really uh, an awesome attempt to come myself. to myself. I'm so glad I finally made it over 100,000. It's been Quite a long-term goal of mine, as you may or may not know. Uh, you can look back at other videos and see I've really tried uh, in the past to get a good strategy and get past that mark, that psychological 100,000 points, and finally have done it. Uh, yeah. And anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you all again soon. Okay, Sunday out.